Hi everyone, I'm Vipna Kalot. I'm a postdoctoral associate at Yale School of Medicine, section of Biomedical Informatics and Data Science. Uh, I'll be presenting a short communication paper on representing and utilizing clinical textual data for real-world studies and Odyssey approach. Definitely can't compete with Erica on the number of co-authors, but we do have a total of 27 authors on this paper. And it was my first time working with so many people, so it was definitely an experience. Uh, OK, so the study was published uh, this month in Journal of Biomedical Informatics, and I have a QR code here. Uh, to summarize the study in one sentence, I would say that uh, this is a crash course into what the NLP working group have done. So basically, uh, what we have done over the past seven to nine years in collaboration with the CDM working group and all our activities, the tools that we have developed, everything is summarized uh, well in the paper. Uh, a brief overview. So uh, first we talk about how we represent textual data in OMOP CDM using the note and note NLP table. Then move on to describe the ETL workflow process, how you can go from the unstructured clinical nodes to the concepts and store them in the CDM. Uh, then we have some use cases where the note and note NLP table and our workflow process has been used by large consortia and individual healthcare systems, followed by some challenges and lessons learned during the process and the future work that is being done by the NLP working group. Okay. Uh, so how do you represent clinical data in OMOP CDM? We know that we have two tables, the note and note NLP table. I hope everyone is familiar with. Uh, the note table basically stores the unstructured clinical documentation of patients. You also have some metadata like the date, the notes were recorded, the type of the note, the provider, the language, all these, th all these things. Now we have a lot of NLP systems that can process unstructured data and extract information from it. So all this extracted information is basically stored in the note NLP table. So you will have the extracted term, the concept ID, normalized concept ID, the offset, and also a lot of modifiers uh, associated with whatever the NLP tool extracts from the unstructured note. So this is the schema of the note table. As you can see, I have highlighted the note text, which is basically the content of the note, and you can also see the date time, provider language, uh, and all these fields. Uh, in the note NLP table, basically uh, we have the store the records that we extract. So you have the lexical variant, which is the raw text extracted from the NLP tool. You also have the offset, uh, which currently is a bar chart, uh, but I'll talk about this more. Uh, and you also have the note NLP concept ID. The last three fields you can see are the modifiers, which are existential modifier and temporal modifiers are stored separately for all the other mod modifiers, like the lab values, measurement all, and all. Currently, we are concatenating everything into a single string and store it, storing it as a single field. OK. Uh, moving on to the workflow. So uh, to get the textual data, uh, extract the information from it, store it into the CDM clinical tables, what do we do? It's a three-step process. So the first step, you can execute any NLP system of your choice to process the textual nodes in note NLP tables, in the note table, basically. And second, you need to convert the NLP system's output into note NLP table. For that, we provide some tools. Here you can see this marked as one and two. The first is the we have some wrappers uh, that we have implemented in Java. Currently, we have wrappers for three NLP systems, Metamap Lite, CTX, and CLAMP, which basically takes the clinical note, extracts all the information, and outputs whatever fields are there in the note NLP. So it basically transforms uh, the unstructured data into the fields that can be stored in the note NLP format. But there is one catch here. The systems like CTEC and Metamap usually output uh, the concept IDs as UMLS concept unique identifiers or UMLS GUIs. But we know that in the Odyssey, we need to map them to the Odyssey uh, concept ID. So for that, uh, we are using this uh, Ananki tool, which is again developed here at the Odyssey. Uh, so this tool maps the concepts uh, concept IDs or the GUIs to the Odyssey concept IDs. So after that, the third step is to finally transfer the concepts from this note NLP table into the clinical CDM tables. For that, we have provided SQL scripts for transferring this data. 
So node NLP table is basically an intermediate storage. So finally, to you know, use the unstructured data or the information from the unstructured data for your, all your observational studies, we need to put them back into the clinical tables like measurement, drug, etc. So we have scripts for doing that. So this is the basic workflow. Moving on, uh, some of the use cases, uh, large consortia like all of us research, uh, BA and N3C have been using this note and note NLP table and the workflow that we provided for different studies. Uh, so at N3C, they have populated the signs and symptoms of COVID-19 into the note NLP table using the MedTagger tool that they have developed. Uh, same for uh, all of us is also planning uh, some uh, transformation of their clinical data, uh, transformation of the genomic data uh, using the CLAMP tool. We have also similar studies using note NLP table done at VA. Apart from that, in the paper, you will also find a lot of individual healthcare systems who have been using uh, their in-house developed NLP tools and also uh, off-the-shelf NLP tools for running various applications. Uh, so it, the applications range from pulmonary embolism, you have infectious disease, uh, COVID-19, suicide predictions, uh, social determinants of health, some COVID-19 monitoring, so all these cancer genomic data. So different institutes have different done different studies using these uh, NLP tools and using the note and note NLP table. OK, some of the challenges that we face during this process. Uh, one is basically the gap in the standardization of concepts extracted by the NLP tools because the NLP system, the unstructured nodes have much more detailed information. The concepts extracted are usually much more fine granular, and especially we found that for social determinants of health, most of the system, most of the concepts extracted by the NLP systems were not actually found in the Odyssey vocabularies. Uh, so. That is one issue. Uh, more details, of course, there is in the paper. So the uh, second one is a challenge regarding the use of NLP systems. I said we have basically wrappers for three systems, but there are a lot of NLP systems out there, and usually off-the-shelf systems do not perform well uh, for a particular task. So every institution develops their own systems, uh, NLP systems, to get the maximum perf uh, performance. So and also sometimes different systems are combined. So this uh, creates difficulties in developing a unified NLP solution, uh, which can be based on a single NLP tool. The third is the implementation issue to meet local application needs. Uh, for example, the VA data, uh, yeah, let's take the VA for example, which is basically a huge amount of data, right? Uh, so converting all the clinical nodes there, uh, going over this process and putting it back uh, requires significant amount of resources and also some of these join operations and all are really uh, time consuming and costly, which uh, leads to some implementation issues like cost and money and also the time uh, and resources uh, needed for completely transforming the entire uh, structure, entire unstructured data into the structured format. Okay. Uh, for the future work, uh, we are currently proposing some modifications to the note NLP table. For example, Michael has been leading this and is working on adding polymorphic keys to the note NLP table for this transformation from the of data from note NLP table to the clinical event tables. And uh, the second issue we all have been uh, means the we always get during the Odyssey NLP work group meetings is the issue with the modifiers. As I mentioned, currently we have separate fields only for the existential and uh, temporal modifiers. Remaining all modifiers are stored as a single field. Uh, so we are planning some intermediate tables, not like the main tables in the OM Obsidian, but some intermediate tables or some extension tables, like what have been done with the uh, oncology uh, extension or the genomic extension. So similar such tables that so that we can have separate tables for these modifiers that suit the downstream tasks. Okay, uh, that's it.